What's up guys, my name is Billy and today I wanted to bring you guys a quick video, a little bit different from my previous ones, but today I wanted to talk about how to grow your YouTube audience as well as how to make your channel look more professional. Now there's many ways out there to make your channel look more professional such as a good profile picture, good thumbnails on your videos, as well as a nice banner, and just really quality content in general. But I think that in my opinion, the one thing that makes your channel look a lot more professional is going to be the outro. Now the outro is at the end of a video, and the reason that this is so important is because it's going to point your audience exactly where you want them to go. So basically today, I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step process on how to make a nice clean outro that's really going to represent your channel well. And it all is pretty much powered through this new end screen annotation system in YouTube. It was just released out of beta. I'm not sure if it's still in beta, but I know that I just got access to it. And I'm not sure if every channel does, but I figured I'd give you guys a little walkthrough. So let's jump over to Photoshop, which is the first thing that I use when creating an outro. So now that we're in Photoshop, as you guys can see, I have my overlay with the blank background. I can put a background in here if I really wanted to, but you're going to want to make sure that that's blank so that when you overlay it in your video editing software, you're going to be able to capture the background as well. Now with this overlay, what you're going to want to do is put some text on here, pretty much telling people what the end screen annotations are. Now just putting up a video up there really doesn't do much. I like to put some text in there as well, just so that people know what video that they're clicking on. Also in the bottom left corner, I have some social media links. This is very important as if you want to reach out with your fans or talk to them more. I think that YouTube really isn't the best platform for that, but if you do want to interact with your fans, I think that going on Twitter and Instagram is one of your best bets. Once you're finished making your overlay, you're going to want to make sure that you save it as a PNG file. If you save it as a JPEG file, you're not going to get this transparent background. Thus, saving it as a PNG file will give you the transparent background. So next up, let's jump into Final Cut Pro. So now that we're in Final Cut Pro, I'll show you guys just how I put all this together. Now if you have any powerful editing software, you're going to be able to do this with a breeze. I'm not too sure about some of the standard ones such as iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, but I know that if you have something like Sony Vegas or Final Cut Pro, you're going to be able to do this with no problem. Now as you guys can see, I have three layers here. The first one being that video overlay that I made in Photoshop, I just showed you guys. This middle one, a drone shot that I really liked, and then on the bottom I have a song. Now two suggestions for this, first of all, with the background. I suggest it being a moving picture rather than a blank background. A blank background will work great, I used it for a while, but honestly I think that a moving shot really makes what's on top pop if you give it that blur and kind of a blackish feel in the background as you guys can see and also makes users want to stick around or viewers stick around and look just what's on this page. Now also with the music I would want to choose something that would really fit everyone's style. You don't want to choose something like heavy hip hop or maybe hardcore rock and roll. That's just going to turn some people off and away from your videos. My suggestion would be go with a nice beat that's nice relaxing and something that makes people want to stick around. So the next step is to go ahead and export this video as one single video so it'll compress it all down to one file and then you'll be able to add it to the end of any video that you want to and then from there we're going to go ahead jump into YouTube and that'll take care of the rest for you. So now jumping back over to YouTube, it's going to make a little bit more sense what's going on here. As you guys can see, I have this video that I created from Final Cut Pro and Photoshop all into one, and I'm going to be able to add my elements. So you're going to want to, you're going to, want to start down here, and you're going to want to go to just where your outro begins. And then over here, you want to add your element, and the one thing that I would definitely recommend adding is this subscribe feature. You're going to add this little bubble, and you get to really put it wherever you want. And for me, since I have the click to subscribe button, I'm going to go and put it right underneath of there, and I think that that looks perfect. Therefore, when people click on this little bubble, they're going to be able to, su to subscribe to my channel. Now the next element that I'm going to be adding is my most recent video. So I click add element, go to video or playlist, and then I can click most recent video and create element. Now it's going to pretty much make this box and I get to resize it and put it wherever you want. Now as you guys can see, there's this faint blue block blue box around and that's pretty much the confines of where you can add these end screen elements. Uh, so I made a template, I'll go over it towards the end and I put it down in the description for download so it's going to be a little bit easier to make these overlays. But anyway, getting back into this, as you guys can see I have my most recent video. I'll just drag it to right there, you can resize it, I believe that this is about as small as it will get. But right there is perfect for me. And then the next one, the final one that I'm going to want to add is a video that I'm proud of. So I'll go down here, choosing a video. And what I usually like to feature is my summer's end video. I think that this is one of my, one of my better works. So if people click on it, they're more inclined to subscribe. So I'll drag it down here, make sure it's nice and centered, and it will snap just like that. And there you go. That pretty much has it. Now this is so much easier than creating an outro from scratch in your computer. 
or in Final Cut Pro, what I would have to do back when I had my old outro is have a black background, have two white boxes, and then keep importing my old files and having to drag them over and make sure that they were just perfect so no white was showing and it made it a pain in the ass, honestly. But with this new feature, I'm able to go ahead and just pretty much import the same settings each and every time so it looks perfect every time. So as I told you guys, I made a template for you to download. The download link is in, is in the description and you're going to be able to make your own video overlay that will make your videos look a lot more professional. And these are the confines right here just so that you guys know exactly where you can put these on or these end screen elements. This whole black zone is the safe zone and then the white is going to be where you want to keep out of. And if you really want to see, you can hide these two boxes right here and you're going to be able to see the screenshot that I took. As you guys can see, it has this little blue box that you're not going to be able to move out of with these end screen elements, which sucks. I wish you could place it wherever you wanted to, but I guess YouTube, with this new beta feature, has their own confines that they want you to stick to. But anyway, that's about it. I hope this video helped you guys out. End screen annotations are definitely a huge help when trying to grow your YouTube channel. I think that, in my personal opinion, it's probably the most important to creating a professional looking YouTube channel. But anyway, that's about it. Definitely leave a like if it helped you guys and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.